Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your cloud learning journey partner. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the complete roadmap of uh, cloud certifications. So whenever we're talking about cloud, we're talking about a very, very big domain. It has many uh, branches. Uh, even if we're talking about some certification, if a new person try to learn cloud computing and they want to gain some certification to provide some sort of evidence ab about the knowledge that he or she gathered, then it's very confusing. There are a few reasons behind it. The first one is that there are some vendor neutral certification, there are some vendor specific certifications, and there are different rules of a cloud engineer so it's very hard to uh, get confused which one is the perfect roadmap for a newcomer to start the cloud certifications in today's video i'm going to help you with that so uh, in uh, cloud computing uh, certification is important because uh, one thing you can uh, put in cv that uh, yes i know this 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 is skills that's good but it also added adds a lot of value if you can provide sort of evidence in terms of certification which proves that not only you know the knowledge you have the validation from the vendors that yes you know those particular skill sets which will increase your chances to land the job very much very much so for that reason i always try my best to uh, uh, get some new certification which i'm interested in in the background you can see i got quite a few certification and i'm planning to add more and more because it is always evolving cloud computing is always evolving if we have the certification then we'll definitely stand out and we can uh, definitely get our uh, dream jobs so if you stick to the end of this video then you will have a complete roadmap as a newcomer how can you start your cloud certification process and uh, how to approach a certification in cloud because there are few rules that you need to follow to pass the certifications or even for the preparation i'm gonna share that with you too so uh, before starting the video i just want to talk about myself well i'm arif i do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing and cyber security i hold multiple certification of uh, aws azure google cloud besides that i also have ci ssp and ccsp certification which you can consider the industry standard of uh, cloud security certifications well uh, this channel is all about cloud computing cyber security and it care related tips so if you're interested in this topic this channel is definitely for you i'm going to upload a tons of videos related to this so please please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos so without further delay let's start the video and create a roadmap that will help us to gain our cloud certifications okay so before starting to talk about the certification roadmap cloud certification roadmap uh, just uh, let's focus on why we need uh, certifications in uh, cloud to start uh, a career in cloud computing well there's reason behind it uh, let me share a story from my experience so when i finished my studies in uh, bachelor's i did uh, four years of bachelor's back home in bangladesh after that uh, i started to look for jobs but the thing about it is that it is a vast domain it has like a lot of domains like uh, uh, networking then uh, code uh, coding then uh, cloud computing cyber security there are like tons of domains right and the thing is that in every job they have a specific uh, skill set a specific job description and for that you need to have some specific uh, knowledge uh, so at the very beginning it's very important to have the basics of uh, basic knowledge of everything related to it but you need to be specialized in one particular domain so i chose cloud computing and i started to learn cloud computing by myself and uh, throughout the process i was learning but the it is overwhelming in one uh, sense because uh, there are tons of uh, resources online some are free resources some are paid resources but uh, it's uh, always growing because cloud computing is evolving all the time so uh, i got confused with all the domains and all the uh, uh, branches of uh, cloud computing then i figured out like what if i do some certification in a particular uh, uh, role like for an example if i do some certification on uh, cloud uh, uh, solutions architect or cloud devops engineer or cloud system administrator or cloud security so once i clear one particular certification in that domain that means i have a validation that i have a achieved a, a certificate in that domain so whenever i'll apply for a job um, in the cv i can also mention uh, that i am a, a cloud uh, certified in the 
this particular domain which will uh, enhance my chances of uh, getting selected and uh, land uh, to the jo particular job so i did that i started uh, to learn about uh, AWS. So AWS is my first uh, uh, cloud security certificate, uh, cloud certification uh, vendor. So once I got the AWS Solution Circuit as a certification, and I started to apply for jobs, I was uh, getting way more response from the, uh, the HR team because now uh, it was uh, working in my favor. Because now I can show them, yes, I'm not just only writing that in my CV that I know this and that. I do have a proof that I already know this particular technology because I have the validation. Okay, let's start with uh, AWS. So whenever we're talking about cloud computing, uh, basically we are talking about the main vendors. And uh, there are three main cloud vendors. The first one is AWS, Amazon Web Service. The second one is uh, Microsoft Azure. And the third one is Google Cloud. So a good question could be which one should we start first as a beginner when we are trying to get our cloud certification or when we want to start our career in cloud computing? Well, the answer for it, for this question is it uh, uh, could be AWS because I started with AWS. There's a reason behind it that is uh, in AWS, it's like... Um, uh, it's the industry standard. It's the industry leader, and um, most of the uh, biggest organization, biggest biggest enterprise, they're using AWS as their backend, uh, um, uh, backend uh, technology. So that's why AWS is always uh, the industry leader, and it has the major market share. That means there are a lot of more job opportunities compared to the other two. So. Uh, Next question could be like, what uh, certification should I focus if I want to learn AWS? Uh, like what should be my starting point for my cloud certification in AWS? Well, if we scroll down this uh, page, this is the official uh, uh, page from AWS. And here uh, they have listed all the AWS certifications. The first one is uh, foundational. The second one is associate. The third one is professional and the a fourth one is a specialty okay and here you can see they have different certifications uh, in total here you can see like two certifications the foundational uh, five under associate four under professional and three under specialty so as a beginner if i would uh, start to learn aws uh, with my all experience that i have i can say the best approach we can uh, go uh, go uh, take for the certification the first certification we should all target as a beginner is the cloud practitioner uh, foundational certification because this will help you to understand the basics of cloud computing, basics of AWS, like how AWS operates, how the pricing model operates, how the compute uh, section operates, like all the nitty gritty small details that you need to know as a beginner, it will be all covered in the cloud practitioner exam. If you start to prepare for the cloud practitioner certification, you have to follow a particular uh, a syllabus, a particular guideline for, for the certification. And if you go through all of this, and eventually you're going to get the insights, you will know a lot because you're going to uh, study in a proper manner and you will be serious about your certification journey. And uh, guess what? In this the whole process, not only are getting the certificate, but also you will get the knowledge that will help you to become a better IT uh, uh, cloud pr uh, practitioner, cloud uh, professional. So once you have the cloud uh, practitioner foundation certification, the next approach that I would highly suggest you is to go for uh, AWS Solutions Architect Associate Certification. There is a reason behind it. So whenever we are going for AWS Cloud Architect, uh, Cloud Solutions Architect uh, Associate Certification we have to cover a lot of aws important services we have to cover ec2 we have to cover vpc you have to cover uh, um, uh, rds you have to cover uh, the major services that aws uh, offers so when you cover those that means uh, uh, we are all good because in aws there are more than 100 of services that they offer but if you know the major services the major 10 services uh, very well then uh, it will help you to uh, understand the ecosystem of AWS environment, now, like how one service is integrating or merging to another service to come up with a complete solution. So it will help you to think, because as a cloud uh, uh, 
uh, solution architect you will create the blueprint you will create the uh, architecture that uh, the developers a system administrator are gonna follow to deploy the application so here you will have a complete understanding this is i think if you ask me which certification is uh, the most effective uh, in aws uh, platform i would say it's aws solutions architect associate because it covers a tons of services and once you have the knowledge then you can uh, choose other domains which are gonna help which gonna uh, complement this knowledge that you have gathered during your aws solutions architect associate certification preparation so as as a beginner my approach would be first i will get this aws cloud practitioner certification and this aws solution architect associate certification okay at this point once we have this two certification then i feel like now uh, i need to uh, change my gear now i have to look for some other vendors because i already have uh, as a beginner i already have two certification for one particular uh, vendor so the next uh, approach would be so what other options do we have we have to assess that well we do have option to get certification under aws uh, not aws it should be microsoft to Azure or Google Cloud. My next target would be to get some insights about Microsoft Azure because Microsoft Azure is also getting popular and with the AI uh, innovation, uh, things are moving very fast, more and more companies are uh, uh, starting using this uh, Microsoft Azure solutions. So yeah, next stop is to know better the uh, ecosystem of Microsoft Azure. Okay, so when we're talking about uh, Azure certification, Microsoft certification, so these are the certifications uh, that uh, Azure provides uh, recently. So there are three levels of certification. The first one is uh, foundational, the second one is associate, and the third one is expert level. So as a beginner, my target would be to know the basics like uh, we did for the AWS. For basics understanding, the first thing that uh, I would uh, highly suggest for a newcomer, a beginner uh, who wants to learn uh, Azure is this one, Azure, a Azure Fundamental is it nine so this is an excellent certification because uh, once you have this uh, Azure cert uh, Foundation certification, the, um, by now you know that uh, how Azure uh, operates the backend, the uh, core services, how each service integrate with each other, the pricing model, and uh, also a little bit of security aspects. So it will uh, help you to understand the basics of uh, uh, Azure uh, a cloud platform so once we have the basics now uh, we want to uh, build on top of it so once we have the foundational then we should target one associate level certification there are three four five six seven azure uh, associate certifications and uh, uh, the one that i would highly suggest you to get is this azure administrator is it uh, 400 well not 400 is it 104 certification so this is also uh, an excellent certification to get because uh, if you get this certification it will help you to know more about azure in a more depth way so you will know the the services the collaboration of each services and how to secure the particular services so the networking part of uh, azure platform everything will be covered by this uh, particular certification guideline so please go for this uh, az104 after clearing this az900 so so far we have cleared we uh, four certification the first one is uh, aws practitioner foundational certification the second one is as you the aws uh, uh, solutions architect certification associate level the third one is azure foundational is at 900 and the fourth one is azure administrator which is as at 104 so once you have this four certification trust me you are more than ready you are more than ready for the cloud uh, and jobs now uh, whenever you apply for any jobs and if you show or attach those certifications uh, with your cv the four certification definitely now you will get more attention from the hr team and uh, it's very likely you can land your job in a very short period of time it helped uh, me a lot during my first uh, um, job hunting phase because uh, uh, 
um, at, as a fresher, uh, it's very hard to apply for the uh, apply for the job and get the job because when you're fresher, so every year there are tons of new freshers that are coming in the market, and uh, the jobs are very limited. So the pool is big, but the job number is less. So how are you gonna enhance the probability to get the job for yourself? Well, the answer is to get the certification that I mentioned. Okay, so I think as a beginner, if a person has these four certifications that I mentioned, well, uh, it's uh, more than enough to start your career in cloud. Well, the next question could be like, uh, wh like how should we prepare for this particular certification? What's the process? What resources we need to use? And uh, uh, like how we should make a routine or a roadmap that will help us to get the certification. The first thing about getting any cloud certification, the first rule that we need to follow is that we must need to be persistent. We need to have a proper routine. Every day, if we just uh, spend like an hour or two to learn something, uh, then in few months, you will amazed by see the results, like how much you know about that particular thing. So please, please create a routine and uh, try to be disciplined and disciplined. Like every day you have to follow a particular uh, routine to study that particular technology. Like for instance, if you are preparing for AWS Cloud Practitioner, so set up a time like uh, every day I'm going to read for like one or two hours and I will do it every day, whatever happens, because consistency is the key. If you um, they do it every day and uh, it will be it will not only make sure that you are making progress but also it will help you to build the momentum which will force you to uh, book the certification then you will take things seriously because you already have invest a lot of time and energy to uh, learn something new and uh, this is the way you can succeed uh, succeed in your IT certification uh, uh, goal well, uh, the other suggestion from my side is that uh, whenever you prepare for a certification, please, please don't just follow one particular resource. There's a reason behind it. So suppose uh, if you're following just only one particular resource, sometimes what happens is that you uh, get confused with a particular thing that is explained in here. So it's not clear to you. And maybe some uh, important code things are missing from that resource. But on the other hand, if you're following at least two or three resources for a particular certification, then if something is not clear from one source, you can get a more clear visibility, better uh, explanation from a second source and everything will be covered and there will be a lot of overlapping. Overlapping really helps uh, for uh, cloud uh, certification because uh, it will make sure that you are having a clear concept about it and when you repeat something, you will uh, be better at it. And uh, remember, the reason of getting a certification is not to just uh, get a piece of paper. The main reason behind a certification is that uh, uh, you know the stuff ins and out, you know how to deploy an application, you know how to secure an application, how the cloud computing uh, uh, services working at the back end to uh, create a whole infrastructure. Uh, so you will be more valuable asset to your company or even if you are a, a entrepreneur then you should know th these uh, things like cloud computing is the new uh, future so every the major companies are moving their infrastructure from on-prem to the cloud or at least hybrid because uh, there are tons of benefits of using cloud computing so it's a, a booming market so you should really need to know about cloud computing so these are some suggestions and i have created a lot of videos related to like um, the the tips how to get the certification and i have also covered uh, the like for every particular certification how uh, you should get prepared what resources you have to use in my previous videos please uh, review my previous videos if you're interested to get those uh, uh, meaningful insights well uh, that's uh, the summary of today's video and uh, uh, if you guys have any questions or any doubt related to the topic that I covered today please let me know in this comment section and I'm gonna reply in a very short short period of time well thank you so much guys for watching my videos it means a lot to me our community is growing and uh, uh, more and more people are joining your community to become a better IT professional. Well, um, if you found this video helpful, please, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos. Uh, but if you have any questions uh, or if you want me to cover any specific topic, also let me know and I'll do that for you. Well, that's all for today. Have a great and wonderful day.